Rise Exchange starts now. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew Schmertz. It's an online educational trading room called The Stock Whisperer. For a nominal fee, you can sign up and be part of a community of traders learning how to pick the hot stocks of the day. The site is run by Stephanie Kammerman, founder and managing director of The Stock Whisperer. She's been a trader now for 20 years and is here on Arise Exchange to give her some of her, dare we say, insider trading tips. Welcome to Arise Exchange. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. So uh, what is The Stock Whisperer? We're talking about trading. Traders here. This is not investors. This is basically people who are active traders. You know, walk us first through how you got into the business and why you decided to educate people. Well, like many traders out there that are watching this program, I knew absolutely nothing about the stock market. And 20 years ago, I started out as an assistant to one of the best traders at Schoenfeld Securities, which is the largest proprietary firm on Long Island. I sat in the million dollar room. People would pay money to sit where I sat, and there I was, getting paid to learn from the best traders. Okay, so what are some, not stock tips, but what are some of the tips for people who maybe want to get into the trading business themselves that you give people? How do they start out? Well, the first thing you need to do is to get an education. Education is very important. Trading without an education is gambling. Education um, meaning know the business, know how the markets work. Know how the market works, yes. Know how trading is. And, and learn the tricks and the trades of trading. It's a technical world out there. We're not trading against people. We're trading against computers. Yeah, and I want to ask you that. Uh, do you basically teach technical analysis? Is trading more on technical analysis and less on fundamentals? Completely on technical analysis. However, I do focus on fundamental analysis when it comes to longer term swing trading, mm -hmm. but for the day to day on the day trader, it's all about reading the tape. And why does reading the tape work? Is it because we believe in this collective consciousness that people simply believe it and therefore what works, works? I mean, if you believe in head and shoulders, if you believe mm -hmm. in Fibonacci trades, that it works. Well, it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. Right. But if you see that a big hedge fund just bought 10 million shares of a company, um, this, and the stock starts to move up, well, that's Do you following. Heard, by the way, I want to ask you about flash trading for a moment here. Mm -hmm. Are your clients or people you're teaching, are they getting hurt by flash traders, by people who get the information a millisecond? And when I say people, it's computers. The high frequency high traders. Frequency. Yeah, now actually, we love the high frequency traders because they make the market liquid. Mm -hmm. It's the dark pool prints that are quite disturbing. They're the late prints that um, don't come across until a couple hours later, even the next day. Why are there so few women in this business? Hmm. Well, I mean, we've seen the movies and we know what the atmosphere is like, so maybe yeah. that's part of it. Well, there used to be so few women, but not anymore. In fact, I have the most unbelievable traders in my trading room right now. They're all women. That's they're, really they're fabulous. Yeah, so yeah. How, do you, how do you approach women and say, you can do this? Well, they approach me. I do a lot of presentations um, all over the country, and they come up to me. And I guess they feel if she can do it, so can I. So over the past 20 years, what are the key elements that have changed this business for you? It's gotten easier actually and it's when i first started easier to make money or easier to easier to trade because it's technology tra yeah technology the software information. information scanners we can do this from home years ago we couldn't do this from home and 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 has that resulted in also taking sort of the middlemen out of the equation where you used to People used to couldn't be traders before, right? They'd have to pick up the phone and call a broker. Yes. I mean, there's still brokers. We still have to pay a commission, but it's gotten uh, very competitive. We don't have to pay $25 a trade. Where online can people find you? www.thestockwhisper.com. Stephanie Cameron. Thank yes. you so much. Thank Appreciate you, you stopping by. Me. Thank you. Coming up, a woman.